Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you Sharp TV. It, it does light up. Now this particular TV and the model number, it lights up here. As we can see here, the backlight is lit. So I'm experiencing backlights, but with no picture. Some of you guys might not have any backlight at all. In that case, you wanna go ahead and turn off all the lights, get your cell phone flashlight out or a flashlight and go up to it and see if you can see anything on the screen. That would mean your backlights are out and you have to replace your backlights on your television. My backlights are working with no picture. I have it plugged in right now with the back already off. Let me go ahead and show you here. So as we can see here, the glows right here and here and all over the television. So obviously the backlights are working as we can see here all over the back as well. Well guys, the conclusion of the video is I I've replaced pretty much everything in this TV. I even got a remote control, put a new T-Con board in, put new ribbons in, put a new power supply in, put a new main board in. There's only three components, T-Con, main board, and power supply. Unfortunately, I'm resulting this to a bad LCD display. Maybe the ribbons on the bottom have got shot. You could go a step further if you know how to micro solder and micro solder them back in. Take a look at those ribbons on the very bottom that are connected to the LCD display to these little boards that are soldered on on the very, very bottom. You can't replace those unless you really know what you're doing in micro solder, but I don't think anyone sells those display boards that are connected to the ribbons to the LCD. I'm gonna go ahead and recycle this and just sell all the parts and all the parts that I did invest into the television. I'm just gonna resell them again, make my money back and scratch this TV. Unfortunately, I've tried all the hard resets. I've tried pretty much everything. I'm getting sound, I'm getting it light up. Now, what I did is I did put a new T-Con board in from a crack panel TV. I bought that part on eBay. I put that in with some new ribbon cables, fired it up. The display did come on, but it was very faint, and then it shut off again. And so I think the bad display is either killing the T-Con boards, I'm not exactly sure, but I'm not gonna waste more money throwing more parts into it. So if you guys have this problem where it does, the backlights do light up, you can even sell the backlights because they work. Sell your parts, your components, scratch it, go out and buy yourself a pre-owned television off of Craigslist, 50 inch. You'll get a new TV without the headache. So I just wanted to make this video for you guys. Unfortunately, we didn't find a fix for it. And if it truly is a bad LCD panel, which I believe it is, you can't fix those unless you really, really know what you're doing. All right, guys, smash that thumbs up button if it has helped you diagnose your problem, if you even wanna tackle this, experiment with it, try it. Subscribe to the channel, we got a lot more videos on the way. You guys have a good day, take care, bye-bye.